Okay, now that you know what the remote control API is, let's take a look at how to enable it. So we'll come up to edit plugins and let's search uh, for remote control. Uh, and you'll see if we scroll down here, we get there's two remote control plugins. One is the web server. Uh, this had been in the Unreal Engine prior to 4.26. Uh, it was very much kind of the back end system that would allow a, a web developer to be able to access um, a lot of the uh, actors, for example, but not through the panel that we had created. So now that we have the panel, um, this is much more usable. As well, we have uh, this remote control web interfaces, which is the UI and the web app that I showed for adding widgets. Um, both of these rely on having Node.js installed. And so when we click this on, it will uh, install the prerequisites the next time when we start up the engine. It will start the web server. There won't be anything else we need to do. It's just check on these two and go ahead and restart. And so once we've done that, you'll see it might take um, a second or two to the next time you relaunch. Um, but it's good to go to the output log and if you search for remote control web, you'll see that uh, here it started the web app, it launched the server on port 7000 and it started the WebSocket connection. So we know we're all ready to go. Uh, in a future release, uh, we hope to have the status up here as well, so you can look and see and double check that your connection has been made. Um, but for now, um, that's how you'll get started. In the next video, I wanna cover how to create the remote control preset and go over um, the structure of the panel and how to add uh, those properties. So see you in the next video.